literally right below me at the very end of the cast. In a two pounder. On a bomber model A, my black and white special. He's right here on a little worm. Oh yeah, he's real nice. He's eight inches, nine inches. Wow. That is a gorgeous red ear right there. I think this is the biggest one I've got out of here. Wow. Awesome. That is a nice one. The crappie just ain't biting, so I decided to use up. about eight and a half inches. A nice red here. Real nice. If I would known that, I would have brought a lot more worm. I sure would have. There we go, I got something. I think it's a slab, yes it is. Finally guys, after two hours of patience with double minnows, I finally got a crappie. He's about a 10 inch black. I'm telling you guys, it took a lot of patience. Wow, I double hooked him. All right, my first crappie. Nice little black, 10 inch. There we go, folks. Yes, a nice one. Really big. I don't think it's a crappie, though. It's a large mouth, I think. Could be a catfish. I'm not really sure. It's a bass. A nice one, too, boy. It's a good three-pounder here. Boy, pet biting Fishing with minnows finally paid off. My goodness. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, he's a nice one. This is the biggest one I've ever caught out of this pond. Personal best largemouth out of this pond. Wow. It's a good three pounder, chunky one. Nice. Wow. Not bad, not bad at all. Nice bag. ready to walk away because I could not see anymore and my bobber went under right before I was about to pull it up I am not kidding you literally three seconds before I was gonna pull it up you probably ain't gonna be able to see this big old crappie big old 14 incher man wow wowzers I'm gonna put one more on there I can't believe it. I couldn't even see. I can't see at all. It's that dark. And I did not catch anything for an hour. That's how slow it's been. And he was right on the weed line. Right on it. Wow. Last crappie I caught because it was completely dark when I caught him. I was pulling everything in. And I reached down to grab my last pole. And as soon as I had it in my hand, the bobber went under. Not bad. He's about a, he's about 14 inches. I caught him right at the last second when I couldn't even see. I had three poles out. I pulled the first two poles in, had all my pliers and tape measure and everything put away and had my hand on the last rod and was getting ready to pull it up and my bobber went under without for an hour without a bite and then that happened right when I couldn't even see hard I could barely see my bobber so I ended up catching two crappie it's a black nose no it's not no I ended up catching two crappie one was a 10 incher and then this one Two largemouth, with one of them being my biggest one I ever caught out of that lake, three pounds and a pound and a half one. Uh, and a red ear that was tied for my biggest one ever out of that lake. It was about eight and a half inches and one nice bluegill. So five fish, two crappie, two bass. Oh, six fish, two crappie, two bass, a red ear and a bluegill. Today I didn't get any pickerel. Bow fins are bullhead. But uh, it's a nice crappie to end the day right there. I know. One crappie I kept. I could have kept a lot of the fish, but I put them back. I measured it and he is 14 inches. Not bad. Fourteen. <coughs> Not bad. It's not huge, but I 
It's a nice crappie. What a beauty. Paper thin for some reason. Real thin. They probably don't even weigh a pound. It's real thin. Even at the he's real girthy at the top, but as it goes down it just tapers off. Obviously probably a male. Nice crappie nonetheless. A little white. Still alive. <coughs> what a beauty. I'm going to get him in the freezer. away from being a slab.